Assalamu alaikum children. Today in the short stories we are going to read about a story of Harun al-Rashid. He was a caliph. The story is called Harun al-Rashid and the Two Good Men. The history of Islam has seen many just, pious rulers among whom the first four caliphs, Umar bin Abdul Aziz of the Umayyads and Mahdi of the Abbasids, Mahmud of the Ghaznavids, and especially the early ones from amongst the Seljuks and Ottomans were the most famous. They consistently consulted the pious scholars and saints among the people and were not angered by their warnings. Once, together with Abu Jafar al-Mansur and Mamun, Harun Rashid was one of the most celebrated rulers of the Abbasids, he ruled over a vast land stretching from Morocco to China and from the Abyssinia to the Caucasus. Although he was not a famous one for justice and pity as Mahdi, he was also a just and upright man. Once he visited the renowned scholars and saints among the people one by one, dissatisfied with the advice and manners of welcoming he received from some of the scholars, he finally knocked at the door of Fadal bin Adyad. Fadal had lived on plundering. Since he had powerful gang and himself was a very good at fighting, travellers had been much afraid of him. However, he had later repented of what he had been doing and became a very renowned saint of that time. Fadal opened his door to Khalif and without inviting him in, warmed him severely. He reminded him of the Day of Judgment and gave him and the other advice. When one of the men escorted the caliph and tempted him to stop Fadayel, the latter rep reprimanded him by saying, It is you and those like you who seduce the rulers. You do whatever they wish and agree with whatever the order and degree. Harun al-Rashid was moved by Fadayel's warnings and was taken back. Harun al-Rashid was once doing Hajj when a man from amongst the crowd called him, saying, O oh, commander of believers, would you please listen to me for a minute? The man was Abdullah, grandson of Umar bin Abdulaziz, rahmatullah The caliph took him aside and following conversation started. O oh, commander of the believers, how many people do you guess are here performing Hajj? The Khalif replied, Only Allah Tabarakatala knows. How would I know? Abdullah Rahmatullah said, Now beware, O commander of believers, all of those who are shedding tears, doing so out of the fear that they may be unable to account for in the day after, each for his own deeds. However, you will be called to account for both your own self and for those people. This led Khalif to think deeply for a while. Then he requested the pious scholar to continue. The scholar added, By Allah, O commander of the believers, if a man neglects to do his own duty and waste his own property, the Almighty will punish him. But have you ever thought what will happen to him if he, as a ruler of innumerable people, neglects to do his duties with respect to the people and wastes public property? Now that made the caliph think and think very hard. 